Good morning, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswoosh.com, and today I am doing a market review of the QQQs. It's 8.30, Tuesday morning, September 2nd. Welcome, September. Uh, September should be a very good month to trade. It's going to be active. There's going to be a lot of volume in the market. Typically, fall is a busy trading season. Today may be a little bit slow and light volume because it's a day after a holiday, but it should pick up by the end of the week. And the market's gapping up this morning. Market actually hit the next target in the gap this morning, the pre-market, which was 100 in the QQQs. And I'm not surprised at all. I knew the market would gap up today. Where we open exactly, I'm not sure because it's an hour away from the open, but market's definitely going to be bullish today. Because it is a day after a holiday, this may not follow through as aggressively today in the bullishness as it would if it was happening like Thursday, for example, or Friday of this week. Uh, but the market's still going to have a bullish day today. One of these days soon, it's coming up just any, any day now, any second, the market is going to have a big, large, giant green day. Megalodon green bullish day. I've been talking about it for months. And the market's rallied. It's rallied. It's continuing. It's followed through. It's done everything I said that it would beautifully, perfectly, actually. Perfect. The market's perfect. However, we haven't had that big green day. It's going to happen, and it could even happen this week. I don't think it happens today because it's a day after a holiday, but I wouldn't put anything past this market. It's probably going to happen in the next two weeks, definitely this month in September. The market looks like a breakout play, actually, this morning in the gap. If this was a one-minute chart or five-minute chart or two-minute chart in a shorter, smaller time frame, the market would look like a breakout play. This would be a long to breakout. Uh, let's stop here. So this is actually a new buy point. Many people are not looking at it this way. Many people are looking at the market as extended, that it needs a correction, that it's getting toppy. None of that is true. The market is higher. And actually, this is a buy point today. You go long the market today. You go long the market. If you are not long yet something and you want to be long for a swing or core trade or even today trade this market, you can, you can go long. This is a new entry point in here. It's a bullish gap. It's a gap that I would look at to go long if I wanted to go long, which I like to short. So, <laughs> but... Uh, next target for the QQQs is 102, then 103, and 103.50. Now, let's look at the longer term here. So after that, after the 102 number, after the 103 number, thereabouts, 110, okay, is the next target. Then 110, 112, 112.50, 113. And then 121, 120, 121, the market's going to make a brand new all-time high here. And it's most likely going to be before the end of the year. I'd say the next four to six months. We'll just have to see how aggressively bullish September is. However, that being said, the market will make a new high, an all-time high. Whether or not it happens before the end of the year, I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. I know that's 20 points away from now, but it certainly could happen. It's very realistic. We are going to get over this number here. This is back, gosh, a long, long time ago. Okay. It's 2014, and the market and the QQQs are looking to make numbers that it hasn't seen for over 10 years. Okay, So this is an extreme show of strength. I have 100% conviction we will see above that number. I don't know exactly when it's going to be. It certainly could be before the end of the year. I'd say the next four to six months. And I'm saying all of this because I'm reading what's going to happen here in the chart and the gaps. Now, that's not to say we don't do any kind of pull-in. Before we get to 120, 121, I'm not saying that at all. Uh, we're not going to do a pull in here today. Market's going to hit up and have probably that large green bullish day before it does a pullback. However, we will see above those numbers. So people that are looking to go long uh, are going to miss the rally if they don't get in. And you can buy bullish gaps. Bullish gaps are a buy point. You could have bought a million bullish gaps before this one today to go long the market. All the people that are saying the market is going to come in and it's going to do a correction, it's going to turn around, it's extended, or it should be shorted or toppy or whatever, are going to miss the move, the real move to play, which is long. The move to play in this market is not to the downside. The move to play is to the upside. You want to play momentum that's happening in something that's going to have actual play in it, meaning that you can get paid with volatility and volume. You're not going to get, there's not going to be volatility in the pullback. There's not going to be uh, what people think is going to be in that pullback. Kind of like here, actually. If you want to know what I'm talking about here, 
I'm sure a lot of people short of this thought this was the correction that everybody keeps kept saying and people are still saying now which is just absolutely ridiculous but anyways uh, this thing here you see this this is this is not any this isn't bearish okay this isn't bearish this I'm circling this here this activity for this brief period here for about a week or so was not bearish this is not where you get play volume momentum this isn't how you get paid you get paid going along the market okay you don't get paid shorting this is a difference so you could have been long this. There's how you're getting paid. You're not getting paid from here to here. You get paid from playing the right direction, which is long. And, and it's, 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 it's still going on. I mean, it's still going on. And I've been saying this now, actually, the last couple of weeks, uh, more than a month now, that I realized that the market is going to hit some crazy number that no one's expecting to the upside. And it is above 120. Uh, 120, 121, 125, and again, it could happen very quickly. You know, when, when power takes over, when money takes over, when power money takes over, it, it just rides itself to the moon uh, or, you know, to the downside, for example, if you're looking to go short, but this market is not something to short. It's just not something to short at all, and people are still going to make an attempt to short this, which is really not the right thing to do, and more than that, people are telling people to short this. The play here is long, okay? That's the only thing to do. And when power money takes over something, it can run as long as it wants to. In either direction happens to go. And for this case here with the market, it's going to be the upside. It's going to be bullish. So nothing surprises me when something follows through with power money. Nothing. It can go to astronomical numbers and, and look to see that play out and see that happen here very quickly. So the call for today here in the QQQs is bullish. Because it's a day after a holiday, it will should be low volume in the market, so I don't think we'll really have some monster day. But next target is 102, 102, 50, 103. And one of these days in the next probably two weeks, the market's going to have a huge Megalodon green bullish day, and it could even be this week. And I've been expecting that for a long time. It hasn't played out. But all of this activity here is bullish. Okay, This is not bearish. And it's not extended because every day that we trade in here, when I'm reading this price action, when I saw it trading, when I was in the market and looking at these things and trading all in here, you know, reading all of this activity is actually the market rallying and resting on the day. So it's not tired. It's not tired of going higher. This isn't a look of tiredness. This is actually a look of getting ready to make a big move. That's how the right rate to read this price action is. Market is gapping up, rallying, resting, gapping up, rallying, resting, gapping up, rallying, resting. I mean, so this is not an exhausted market that you would look to see a reversal. This is actually setting up to really go, go higher. And that, that's what we're doing here. And I'm not surprised at all we're gapping up today. I knew that we would gap up today. I knew it. So nice, nice long here in the market here. We're not even gapping up too much here today. So you could go along aggressively the market here today in the next 45 minutes if we set up close to or about around this number. So Bullish market ahead of us. Nothing but blue skies ahead for the QQQs. Call for this day today is bullish, and someday soon the market's going to make the big monster Megalodon green day. When that happens, people are going to say then the market's extended. When that happens, they're going to say it's extended, and it won't be. It'll be sign, again, that the market will continue higher, but we may pull back after that. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I just don't know until I see it happen exactly how it's going to set up. But for today, right now, I'm reading the gap in the market, in the pre-market, and the market's bullish. And the market's bullish for today and continuing higher and really for the rest of this calendar year 2014. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, the class is September 13th and 14th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information. If you want to learn how to read this market, if you want to learn how to read gaps, if you want to learn how to make money trading the market, then email me and you can sign up for the Golden Gap class. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.